We are back with another episode in the Thrift Store Challenge series, and today we're gonna go through the Magnolia and Hearth and Hand line at Target to get some much needed inspiration for fall, and then we are going to head over to the thrift store to see what we can come up with for a whole lot less. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started. If you're interested in achieving a magnolia or hearth and hand look in your space for fall, I noticed that there were a lot of blue and white floral patterned vases on their website. And while I was at the Hartville thrift shop, my local thrift shop, I came across this jug vase that was sitting in an area that it wasn't supposed to be. So I think someone was contemplating buying it, but chose to pass on it. And I'm so glad they did because I think it's the perfect addition to my kitchen space. It can stand alone or be filled with some fall florals, but either way, I think it is absolutely beautiful for just $3. One of my favorite design elements that Joanna Gaines uses in her space is the amount of antiques and vintage because they just add a lot of depth to the space. But these vintage or antique cutting boards can be quite costly even on places like Etsy. So I like to check out the thrift store to try to find a cheaper alternative that can kind of give this same depth and effect. So I wasn't finding anything except this stool. So I was thinking instead of using it as a stool because the legs were kind of beat up anyway and there was a lot of adhesive that was dripping so I decided to just remove the top of the bar stool using a little bit of elbow grease and because the top already had such beautiful aged weathered quality to it I just wanted to modernize it a little bit by adding some hardware that I had on hand and I think this is a nice alternative the stool was only four dollars I had the hardware on hand and I think that this can kind of add a nice warmth to my space for fall a pattern that's been trending a lot in high-end home decor is checker printed pattern, but I really like the way Magnolia does it because it's not super high contrast. It's all just kind of tonal, which I appreciate. So I loved these wood serving cutting boards, but I thought we could definitely come up with something that was just a little bit more affordable. So I found this huge wood round for just $2 at the Goodwill. There was some water markings on it, so I just decided to take some 220 grit sandpaper and just kind of sand it down so it'd be nice and smooth before I add my stain. But before adding my stain, I like to go in with something called pre-stain first. So if you're not familiar with that, it's basically just a wood conditioner that's going to help your stain apply really evenly. Using a paper towel, I'm just going to apply one layer on the top as well as all around the sides of this wood round until it's completely covered. And then I'm gonna let that sit for about 30 minutes. Once the pre-stain dried, it was time now to decide on my first stain before we add the checker print. So I went in with the gel stain in the color coffee, and I think that this is just a nice kind of warm brown color that's going to be perfect for fall. I'm going to wipe off the excess with a paper towel, and then I'm going to go around all of the sides with that same stain color. Once the stain had dried, I then went in with some frog tape and started laying out my tape so I would be able to make a checker print pattern using some antiquing wax. So to keep everything nice and even, it's helpful to use small pieces of tape on either side so that way your tape does stay nice and straight and everything is going to be as well approximated as possible. Of course, it's not gonna be perfect because we have human error, but overall, everything is pretty well spaced out. So once this first layer is done I'm going to go in with this chalky finish antiquing wax by Krylon to apply it I'm going to use this brush that I picked up from the thrift store I just applied a small dab in each square and then just kind of spread it out into the next one until all of the squares were completely covered with this antiquing wax because I wanted the overall look of this tray to be kind of low contrast that is why I chose an antiquing wax if you want something to be a little bit more high contrast I would make sure that your stains are kind of a little bit more vastly different versus mine, which is a bit more subtle. With the first layer done, then it was just time now to kind of fill in the squares in between. So to make sure that everything was at least connecting to each other, I just made this kind of pattern here and filled in all of the squares in between the first layer of squares. So that way you create this kind of checker printed pattern. With everything dried now, it's time to add a layer of satin polycrylic to the top so it stays nice and protected. And I did contemplate using a little leather detail to the side. So let me know down in the comments if you think that that would look good as well.
Next up, let's talk about some fall florals. So at Target through the hearth and hand line, I think they do a really nice job of creating some really just simple, subtle touches of fall that don't feel super overwhelming which is definitely the way that I like to decorate for fall. I don't like bright yellow and bright orange and bright red. I want everything to be a lot more subdued. It's just easier on my eyes to do it that way. So I found this really beautiful, really subtle bundle of wheat here for just $2.50 with the wire that was perfectly intact. I did end up grabbing these fluted bases from the Hearth and Handline this year that I thought were so perfect for fall. And I think this makes a beautiful display on my kitchen island. It's understated, but it's sophisticated at the same time. But one of my favorite areas through the hearth and hand line at Target are all of the kitchen accessories. They are so beautiful and I do think they're kind of fairly priced for what they are, but I still think you can find equally beautiful things at the thrift store for a much better price point. So for example, I found this caddy through the hearth and hand line at Target and I believe it's under $15 to begin with, but then I was at the thrift store and I found the exact same caddy for just a dollar. But as I mentioned, this happens quite often. I find little bowls, little canisters from the hearth and hand line more than you would expect. So I do recommend checking your thrift store first before you go to Target just to see if anything does pop up. So I'm gonna clean this caddy off with some soap and water. And you guys might remember in a previous video where I found this hearth and hand soap container that usually comes in this set. The only bottle I found though was the soap container, which was perfect because now I have the caddy to go along with it. So another thing I wanted to add for fall was a little mini lamp in my kitchen just to add this cozy element. And I wanted it to feel more vintage and cottage core inspired. So when I came across this beautiful ceramic embossed lamp, now it did not have a shade but I was pretty sure that I had one at home that would fit it perfectly. I also found this ceramic butter dish for just $3 at the Goodwill. Now I could separate it and use the tray separately, but I liked having the combination of it all together. And as you can see, all of these pieces were thrifted and they look so beautiful in my kitchen space. Next up, let's talk about textiles. So your pillows, your blankets, this is one of the more affordable ways you can kind of switch up your space and make it feel ready for the season to come. But it can be quite costly, even if you shop at places like Target, because every pillow there is at least $25. So I do like to go to the thrift store, as you guys know, and see what is available. And one thing I wanna know from you guys is if you've been seeing this a lot through your Goodwills, I've been seeing a lot of Target liquidation there. So this pillow ended up only being $8.99 final sale and it was perfect for the fall season. It was literally being sold at Target 10 minutes away from that Goodwill for almost triple the price. So I think it's definitely worth checking because you really might be surprised with what you can find. Another area you might consider switching up for the upcoming season are little runners or little doormats. So at the thrift store, these are all $3 at the Heartbell Thrift Shop unless otherwise marked. So I found this one that I thought was going to be perfect. So I'm just going to disinfect it with some disinfectant spray and then I'm going to vacuum it really well and I'm going to just finish it off by steaming it. This is the way I clean some textiles that I can't throw in my washing machine. And because I have a two-year-old and a four-year-old, I don't want to break the bank with these little textile pieces that I know are definitely going to take a beating, but I still want them to be beautiful as well. Next up, let's talk about frames and artwork. So when you're at the thrift store, it can be kind of overwhelming. So my best advice is to go in with somewhat of a plan. So I would go on the Magnolia website and take a look and see what kind of artwork you're naturally gravitated towards. So then that way, when you're in the thrift store, you have a better idea of what you want to frame. So the frame was a dollar, the print was just a few dollars. I put them together for this similar artwork. Another kind of artwork style Magnolia and Hearth and Hand do a lot are sketches. So I found this frame for a couple bucks. I actually found this book for just a dollar that has several different sketches to choose from. I'm going to pick one that I think would look nice and place it inside this frame here. Again, a few dollars for a similar look. When it comes to large scale artwork, I found this piece for just $3 and the artwork inside was beautiful, but because it's going to be opposing a window, the glass on 
almost does it a disservice because you can't even really see it because it's all just reflection. So I decided to just spray paint the frame black and then I'm just going to crack the glass so I can easily remove it. So then that way you really can see how beautiful the picture is and it does a much better justice in my opinion to what's inside of this frame. A comparable sized piece of artwork from Magnolia or even through Hearth and Hand would be more than 10 times the price. So the fact that this was just $3, I was really happy with. And last but certainly not least are our shelf styling accessories. So bowls, candlestick holders, decorative objects, all of those pieces can really add a lot of interest to your space. And if you buy them from places like Magnolia or even at Target where it's a little bit more affordable, it adds up really quickly when you have to buy five, six, seven, eight things to fill your bookshelf. So I like to go to the thrift store first to see what I could come up with, especially if I'm changing them up for the seasons. If you guys are interested in watching a video like that, it's not a video I normally do, but if you guys want to see some tips and tricks to style your shelves for the seasons, let me know down in the comments below. But as you can see here, I found these three pieces of decor at the thrift store. I can style them on this shelf. They're all at different heights. They're made of different materials, but they all complement each other very well. And because I did it on a thrifted budget, it was so much more affordable. And that really wraps up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments which project or find was your favorite. I hope this inspired you guys to get out to your local thrift stores and see what you can find or DIY to create a beautiful home on a budget. I hope everyone has an amazing week. Bye for now.